Magnetism. So when my magnets are, when the magnets is, are attracted to each other, you have this, uh, the high pressure is accelerating towards counter space, which would be this midpoint, okay? So there's no magnetic attraction, there's only dielectric acceleration. So now when I turn my magnet around, I can repel it, and that is the mid pressure. The mid pressure is pushing this magnet away, okay? It's like a bubble. So I can attract it, and I can repel it. Well, now that I added more magnets on the top, it is no longer, the plane of inertia is a little bit higher now. So I have to place it a little bit higher. Perfect. See? Now it is at the exact center once more. So there's what the magnet's doing. It's going out and back in, out and back in. So as it goes out, it turns blue and it comes back in. And same thing for the top. It goes out and it turns blue as it comes in. And it goes out the bottom and turns blue as it goes in, out the bottom and blue as it goes in. So it's always red going out and blue as it comes in, just like your heart. Red going out arteries and the same blood just comes back to the heart in a blue form because it lost its oxygen. So it just loses its energy and comes back to recharge. That's all it's doing. The proton loses energy and now it's an electron and it goes back in. So the discharge of the of the electron is, is the charge of the proton. So that's all an electron is, is dielectric discharge, impulses in the ether. So it's going out like that, or you can say this way, and it's going in. It doesn't leave the plane of inertia. Now this one does zoop, it goes around the plane of inertia. These stay in, just like that. And this goes So that's all it is, guys. You live on. So look, it's your eye. There's the hyaloid canal and there's the hyperboloid. It's the hourglass shape. There's an egg. It has to be connected to the top and bottom. So the protons and electrons are connected at the neutron. Everything is connected. It's a coaxial circuit. Boom. So now in order to create this high pressure field, you must raise your frequency up. And now the energy doesn't just stay in here like that. The energy goes out and it does the whole thing as the high pressure. So you want to create that aura. So the energy from the earth shoots up and there's a big old aura, the aurora borealis of the earth. Just like your body has an aura, high pressure, the earth has an aurora. It's no different. You and the earth are the same. You both have root chakras and crowns, and the energy is going to shoot up from the center of the earth up to the, to the top of the dome, top of your head, the cranium. So yeah, guys, we are no different than the earth. You have a cowlick at the center.